Hi everybody, if you're watching this on my channel, this is going to be very short and it's different than what I usually do, but a lot of people have been asking me, because you're following me on Instagram and social media, what kind of project I've been working on, and here I am with Vince and James Coleman to explain, finally, what it's all about and to let you know when you can finally watch this short film, The Offering. Yeah, so guys, come to our channel. You'll see us do a uh, a little brief interview with Stephanie as she interviews us as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see you there. Yeah, you will. All right. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. How do you do it? What do you, what's, your intro? <laughs> oh, what's your intro usually? What do you say? Just... Just say what it is. Okay. Hey, YouTube fans and fanettes. Uh, <laughs> Okay. You got this. I think you hey should guys. just keep trying. This is going all in the blooper reel. Hey, YouTube. Welcome back to our channel. I know it's been a while since we posted a video. As always, I'm James, and this is Vince. And now we're here with Stephanie Harlow of... Stephanie Harlow <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Except, yeah. Tell us about what you do, Stephanie. I do true crime videos on YouTube, and also I am, you know, recently been acting in a little movie that, you know, somebody I know wanted me to be a part of. And that's what we're actually here to talk about because I've been posting a ton of stuff about the project that James and Vince are working on and everybody wants to know more about it. And I don't know, I just didn't think Instagram was the right place to do it. So I wanted to make something that we could put on YouTube so everybody could watch it if they wanted to. So we're here today, we're gonna do a little Q&A. We're gonna talk about the film, which finally has a name, right? Because the name changed. What's the name now? The name of the film is The Offering and it is a spooky little short horror tale about a woman taking a job caring for an old man in a strange mansion in the middle of nowhere <clears throat> all right so let's talk about this new project right now it's just a short correct it is a short uh so you know guys we uh we did halloween inferno and you know it it, it definitely took its uh it definitely took off in a good way and it kind of really propelled us into making the burnover district which is our feature film that is uh doing very well in the film festival market right now and, you know, we had written a script called The Caretaker last year. And we thought, you know, let's maybe do this, whatever. We were thinking about it, planning it, whatever, whatever. It's just like 12-page script. And then eventually we're like, you know what? We're kind of really busy. Let's focus on what we're doing. Whatever. You know, we don't have to keep rushing to make films. So my brother and I started talking about films again. We're like, what do you want to do? Like, we should probably put something on our channel. And what, what's our idea? We were going around with ideas and then he mentioned what about that caretaker script so i went back into my computer and i read the script it had been written already and then we thought to ourselves you know what what could be a beneficial thing to this short as far as what can make people watch it more we thought hey why don't we reach out to our new friend stephanie harlow <laughs> who we had done some uh, video work with with someone else that we don't want to mention he who shall not be named. He who shall not be named. So we thought, hey, let's give her a call. And she was like, yeah, you know, I know you guys are gods and you're like the best around. And we were like, yeah, so I appreciate you understanding that. And then she said, sure. So what was your input when we asked you about doing this? No, I, I feel like um, I feel like you guys said, what's your acting ability like from one to ten? And of course, me being who I am, what did I say? I said ten. She said ten. She was very... I don't actually know if it's a ten, but... I guess you'll be the judge. <laughs> I guess <laughs> me. I would say oh Stephanie God. was adequate. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She did her best. Really? No. So, so for her being a YouTuber, you know, you asked a question like, you know, can can you act? Because you know, a lot of people go that route with. Let me throw some YouTubers into it. You see movies nowadays that have YouTubers in them, and it's it, it's hit or miss. You know, some can act, some of them can't. And you know, I, we we want to make something good, regardless of. Regardless of what the outcome is, you want to make a good film. So you want to have someone in there that can portray the character you're trying to portray. So I sent her the script. She gave me a read through. Had her ideas of her own, which is always a good, a, a good. Uh, it's always a good. What the hell's the word thing? Uh, thing. A good thing. That's always a good thing when someone has input on a character instead of just you know reading the line verbatim. That gets a little boring. So we talked a little bit more, and she said, you know, I think I can pull this off. And to our delight, she came on set. She was professional. She pulled off the character in her own little way and i think she did a very good job i'm very proud of her i was also like resilient right like i ran up and down the stairs a lot she ran up and down the stairs a lot she did she uh i feel like i did all their stuff she, that was like super impressive she got puked on oh i did get puked on she did i thought you said no spoilers no nah, that's okay that's okay i mean at least they don't know when it's gonna happen they just know it will happen 
it will happen. So no, she was up. You know, oh, I was so her. pissed. Oh my God, I was so mad when that happened. If you've never been thrown up on, you don't understand the rage that fills you like a heat from a thousand burning suns inside of your chest and it just feels like you're like an anime character you don't have to like explode somebody tells me that's not the first time you've been puked on it's absolutely the first time i've been puked on i can still feel it i can still feel it like the warmth of it it was a piece it was a one take wonder it had to be i felt like you were targeted that whole time you was getting noodles you were targeted <laughs> I laugh, dude. It's down nah, my shirt. Nah, nah, nah. It's over oh, that ball. No! Oh, it's down my shirt! All right, uh, get over here. Come on. Damn, We're blood brothers for life. <laughs> <laughs> puke pals. Oh, it is a puke that binds us.